This video today is sponsored by my entrepreneurship course. That's right, Josh is being a fake guru once again, but it's actually a super dope course. I'm taking the freelancing course that I had that I sold separately and I'm putting it inside the entrepreneurship course. So it's gonna be entrepreneurship and freelancing and it's gonna be everything you need to know basically how to start your own business and how to freelance, and start getting clients and stuff because that's what everyone keeps asking about. So it's all in there. The link is down in the description. Please go check it out. It supports the channel and it's a kick course, all right? I've already helped at least uh, 30 people open their business, so enjoy. Today we have an excellent video. You know, I decided to take the fight to the people offering these crappy jobs and I ended up texting the CEO of a company asking him if I could hire him. So I'm gonna tell you the story today of how I tried to hire uh, the CEO from one of these really garbage companies and just kind of walk you through that conversation along with showing you some other really ridiculous postings in India. Ugh, they're just trying to take advantage of you, all right? So everybody's asking for number three. Just consider this garbage dev jobs in India number three. Share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they know that this is trash and they shouldn't accept this. All right, let's jump in. You look right here, you see, uh, web designer and developer with SEO knowledge, three to five years experience doing sales and purchasing, web design and development, web maintenance, web revamp, digital marketing, SEO on page and off page, social media promotion, three to five years experience. And how much do they pay per month? Well, they pay $266 a month is what they pay. And now if you were a, a fresher or this was like your first job or an internship, maybe this would be okay. But this is for a five years experienced person that is experienced in literally an entire digital media company. I sent them a text on WhatsApp, and this is what that looks like. I said, I have two days experience in web dev and 20 years in life. Am I qualified? Your job list looks perfect for me. You can offer me one lock per month. So that's 100,000 rupees per month, uh, per week, sorry. Bro, trust me, I'll be the hardest worker. And after no response, within uh, 120 seconds, I said, notice me, senpai, to which he said, Please answer these questions before line up the face-to-face -face interview. Interview will be held after the lockdown. Please share your updated CV. You applied for which post? How much experience do you have? How much is your current salary? Where do you stay? Do you have your own vehicle? Notice period four. If you got selected, when you came for the interview, highest qualifications, why do you want to change your job? Rate of your communication skills. And then I said, can I hire you? Your website is amazing. I will pay you 4,000 rupees a month. Deal or no deal, take it or don't. The choice is yours. And he said, you will hire me and pay to me 4,000 monthly. It's amazing. And I said, I'm not hearing a no. Okay, I'll send over the contract. We work Saturdays and Sundays, seven days a week, 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., and then you can see your family for one hour, but I require you back in the office until 11.45, from which you can sleep in the office. Remember, I'm paying you 4,000 rupees a month, so don't forget to be thankful. And he said, I have no need to work at home. I thought that maybe he misunderstood things a little bit. Maybe he thought that this was a work remote position, which it's not. So I had to clarify and say, great, you won't be working at home. You'll be at my office. Have you seen the movie Harry Potter? It's spacious and luxurious office about the size of his room under the stairs. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Lots of great perks such as spiders and dust, to which I think he was confused and said, who are you? I'm your new CEO. Although I prefer to be addressed as Lord and Savior though. <laughs> A little time went by after that and I said, okay, well, I sent the contract over. I'll be letting my team know that you'll be in the office first thing tomorrow at 6 a.m. Do you prefer coffee or tea? Just curious. He said, share your office address. I said, okay, we do most of our work from Diagon Alley. Do you know how to get to platform nine and three quarters in Delhi? From there, I can give you directions. Also, do you prefer coffee or tea? He said, give me address and direction. So I sent him the address of his own company and he said floor and office number. I said, thanks for being a team player. Floor is nine and three quarters. Look forward to meeting you. Have a great evening. He said, in that tower, there's only eight floors. And I said, but also coffee or tea. A little time goes by, he didn't respond. And I said, coffee or tea. Also, the ninth floor is hidden. It's a secret level. Like, you know, in a video game, it has a hidden entrance. He said, okay, I will be there with my legal team and police. Then we'll meet to you. I said, you need to make sure that they're able to at least cast Wingardium Leviosa. Otherwise, they won't make it through the portal. He said, my legal team and police with me will be there. I said, bro, we aren't hiring a legal team or police right now. We are just hiring you. He said, okay, no issue. <laughs> I said, cool, we look forward to meeting you tomorrow. I'm just going to assume you're a coffee kind of developer. So we'll get you a French latte. Good night. And so I guess I hired my first uh, CEO. That's how you big brain it. That's how you reverse hire somebody. 
you apply to the job and actually hire them. I mean, he said 4,000 rupees a month was amazing. I mean, those were his words. So let me just clarify that this is just for fun and games to waste a little bit of their time, just like they would be wasting your time, right? They would be completely taking advantage of somebody wasting their time. So that's exactly what I decided to do to them. Now this company is hiring a full stack developer, Zen Solutions. They say that we're looking for a front end web developer who's motivated to combine the art of design with the art of programming two to four years of experience in PHP or framework-based development, all this stuff, and they want to pay you 18,000 rupees a year. That's $239 per year, not per month, per year. $239 per year for a four years experience software developer. So I decided to look more into this company because obviously it's a quality company. This company is amazing. I opened it up and I started reading about their company, Zen Solutions, about us. And scroll down, I wanna, I wanna read about the people that were offering this amazing position. So we see this guy, he's the founder of the company, and he even writes about himself here. Mr. AJ is a person with compassion and consistency. He is the key founder of Zen Solutions and has successfully helped so many businesses grow. He is a philanthropist, a versatile entrepreneur, and a dedicated social worker. That's why he's only offering you 18,000 rupees per year. Wow, he's such a giving person. That's just amazing. He's a, he's a, he's like one of the best philanthropists I've ever seen in terms of giving, especially to the people below him, really helping those people out, you know. He is a true leader who has taken Zen to greater heights through his leadership skills and hard work. So obviously, I had to send this guy a text message too. And I said, uh, "Did you miss a zero on your Indeed post?" And he actually never responded to that one. But maybe he will, and I'll update you in a future video. In the comments of these videos, sometimes I see people defending this trash. These are your bosses. For example, this is a guy who claims to be hiring people. By the way, I also hire interns in New Delhi for about 12,000 per month, for eight hours a day, six days a week. The money covers their minimum cost of living. Okay, so, wow, that's something to brag about. They are fresh computer engineering graduate students right out of college. Most of them can't even write basic code and don't know how to basic it HTML. But I hire such engineers to do things like data entry, potential client search on the internet, online marketing, without content writing part because they can't write in English. But no programming because they lack the IQ to even learn programming. Doing programming is too much for their brains. I said, you hire six days a week, you don't train them, and you call them low IQ? You are the problem. You know, maybe he saw his job post in one of these videos and he had the need to defend it in here. Imagine working for someone who just thinks so little of you and then being thankful for that. Anyway, so that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please share it. If you'd like to see more trolling of these garbage jobs, let me know. I'm happy to do it. I had a kick out of it. I hope you guys have a kick out of it. And uh, you know, maybe leave a like, click subscribe. Again, share the video with other people so that they know that this is garbage and this is unacceptable and they should demand more money. And uh, I guess that's it. Check out the links down there in the description. Um, I got some free downloads, some free templates, some free courses you can enroll in. And I guess that's it. I'll see you guys in the live stream.